By other records, record upon record upon record, and this confirms it in terms of the price action in the markets. Well, is it about real rates? I mean, like, like at the end of the day, if you think about it, we're coming off this zerp, you know, and into the, you know, uh, this period where we are right now, where inflation now they want it down to two percent. Prior to the pandemic, they wanted it up to two percent. We're dealing with a zero percent interest rate now. We have at the upper end of the band of Fed funds at five and a half percent, and we have inflation that basically stopped going down. And I think that's the message that I take away from what the Fed had to say today. That like, you know, and what they have. Been saying, but for whatever reason, stock market investors don't care because, like, they still have this growth trajectory that is well above what people had thought over the last two years. And think about this: in 2022, we've talked about it again and again. We had a bear market predicated on this recession that was going to happen in 2023, and now it's being pushed out to I don't even know when. So, at the end of the day, you tell me, and, and maybe Michael. Are we restrictive with a five and a half Fed funds and inflation done going down where it is? Maybe we are. I, I don't know, but it's not doing a whole heck of a lot to the economy right now. No, we're not. We're not restrictive. I mean, it's, to me, it's clear as day. Uh, look at leading economic indicators. They've bottomed. Look at PMIs. They've bottomed. Look at the stock market. You're near all time highs or at all time highs, right? You're at Bitcoin. There's tons of liquidity in the system. Um, we're not restrictive. Uh, you know, home prices are going back up. That's going to be a headwind to inflation later this year. And so I think this idea, just because we're at 2% real rates, that's, that, that, that's some magical number that's restrictive, you know, that's completely debunked at this point. Yeah, yeah. and, and I, I would argue that the most important part of today's meeting was where he threw some, some dovish fuel on the fire, which was talking about the balance sheet runoff. He kind of said, look, you know what, we, we don't have to move as fast. Um, and by the way, some of that will take care of itself. Um, but if every Fed meeting in the Q&A is kind of like an art show, you know, you kind of like you, you read every word, you parse through it. You kind of I mean, this was in pardon the Goldilocks expression. But I thought I, I thought he Goldilocks this one um, in terms of an art show. In other words, he talked about his dual mandate. He talked about how, hey, we're 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 hitting on the, the labor market. But actually, you know, we could actually see the labor market uh, weaken on the headline unemployment. But the participation rate could go up and it could be a great story. Uh, and meanwhile, we're very concerned concerned about price stability, but we're concerned about job growth. I mean, he said it all. I heard an economy and the, and the statement upgraded the economy. We all know what the stock market's doing. We all know what the stock market's priced in. This was a dovish, dovish afternoon because, again, the balance sheet is not getting a whole lot smaller anytime soon. And as Mike pointed out, financial conditions are so loose right now. And another great reason to have Mike on the desk right now is because, like, if you look at uh, high-yield uh, option-adjusted spreads, we haven't been this tight since June of 2007. And we all know what happened after that. I'm not saying it's about to happen. But, but the credit world is telling you no one is concerned about risk. I understand Capital markets aren't as open as they were and whatnot. But credit spreads, uh, stock markets, financial conditions tell you it's risk on. And the Fed did nothing to slow that down today. It's interesting. You know, in the fall, the market began to rally on the thoughts there'd be six rate cuts. Six. Right. This year. Now we're down to half of Then that. we took it down to three. The market sold off a little bit. He reemphasized or reiterated three in the markets at all. Time. So the markets clearly just wants to rally regardless. But, uh, you know, there are cons listen, you can say what you want about the guy in terms of the stock market. He's done a masterful job without question. And quite frankly, I mean, it's hard to argue in terms of the economy. Nothing's broken yet. Unemployment's still below 4 percent. But there are things are on the surface, in my opinion, especially in the real acceleration of inflation and the green light that will give inflation assets to move higher today. Well, I thought, you know, for for Fed Chair Powell to sort of just be so dovish today, he really gave it away in some sense. He even addressed the fact that he thinks that he's comfortable with the idea that we've hit peak rates already. So even if things worsen um, and things get hot, I, I don't know, they sort of box themselves in a, into a corner a little bit. Well, I mean, we've seen the Fed, you know, change their stance meaningfully over the years, right? I mean, they weren't going to hike, and then all of a sudden, but 500 plus hikes later. But they've always left the door open. I felt like today, they, they closed the door a little bit more. They'll be data dependent. Like Steve said, if you get hot inflation prints over the next couple of months, I, I think the Fed's tune is going to change. And when is the Fed or the market actually price things correctly? Almost never. I I'll wager to say that the market will start pricing in a hike at some point within the next 12 months. Nice. That's my bet. Wow. Well, we're down to 20 bips for June. So, I mean, this was a, a, a slam dunk a little while ago. That's interesting because uh, um, what you're saying about conditions and what we're saying about credit spreads tells you that, if anything, they need to reel it in more. Yeah. You may get a cut before that hike, too. Yeah. Right. It's interesting. It's, well, I think at one point earlier this year, there was a 7 percent chance of a hike at some point this year. I understand exactly what Michael's saying. And quite frankly, if that were the case, mm -hmm. you could say it's because inflation's out of the or because the economy is doing well enough where 
So, I mean, again, it's depending on how you look at it. Well, I'm more the inflation. Listen, the last couple inflation numbers have been hot in a word. That PPI number was twice what the street was looking for. Market cared for a day. Doesn't seem to care. And you're seeing it in yields. Ten-year yields really went down three basis points today. I mean, so I think the bond market is looking at this a little bit differently. This 